Hi and welcome. This is Eric and today I'm going to show you guys how to do data before loading to the data warehouse. So most of the times when you create this package, you have to schedule either monthly, uh, weekly or daily, every night. You'll be running it maybe every night, maybe every week or every month. So you, you would like to avoid duplicates. Okay, you have to make sure that the information uh, uh, loading to your database is always um, uh, fresh. So let me show you guys what I've done. So in my previous video, we went ahead and load data to our employee table. And so far, do I have 10 records? These five records are coming from it. Um, text file and these are coming from SQL Server okay so let me show you the package um, it went successful so for example I'm gonna stop this package and then if I execute again these five rows will be added again let's see so it's executed successful if I go back here um, I get 15 rows I'm gonna stop again if you don't know how to do this please watch my previous video I execute again five more rows I'm expecting to see about 20 records so as you can tell I do have about 20 records yeah so this will keep on um, getting duplicated over and over and over and you can take a look at the names um, we have Lillian, we do have Marvin, Lillian, Marvin, and these names keep on repeating because you are just loading the information from the same file, same source. Okay, so if you have this kind of information where they just increment one or two records and you just need all the information to load it to your table, all you need is to add another task, which is execute SQL task. And then you go there, you delete everything from the table, and then you load again. Okay, so that's how we are going to do and to make sure that those records are not duplicated. You delete them first, and then you add them after. So what does this SQL ta task do? It executes SQL statement or stored procedures in a relation database. Okay. So the way it is, um, for example, you would like to delete records from this table. Um, I'll just write a simple delete statement. And if you don't know about how to write uh, a delete statement, please watch my previous video. So that's a statement which will delete all the records from the employees. But uh, for this SSS, I usually um, like to use truncate. It's a little bit faster. Than delete because delete deletes records row by row, but this deletes records based on that page. Okay, and there are so many advantages of using these over this, especially if you're going to wipe everything. Um, from the table, so I'll minimize this, drag and drop, make more space. So this means there's no connection many gate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and right click, and. I'm going to re rename this. So I say this is um, try this truncate table. I'm just going to say delete employees or delete employees. Employee information. I was just trying to match this. This loads information, this deletes employee information. 
So the next thing is there's no connection in my with all these DBX. I'm going to configure it. I'm just going to go ahead and double click and um, I will go straight to and that's already be the connection I'm going to connect to my table in test DB data warehouse. If you go back here, um, you can see it, you're in test warehouse and this is the table I want to wipe all the information in there. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. No, no, no. On SQL statement here, that's where I'm going to test my statement. Okay, I'll say OK. And there's nothing else to do. That's done. I'll say OK. That big X is co uh, completed. And then I'm going to join these two. So it will first wipe the records and then it will load the information. So I right click and execute my package so that I can see. So both statement has run successful, has executed successful. That's why you see a green checkbox. So if I go back here and select top thousand rows, I should see at least five records. So now, even if I run multiple times this package, I'm gonna stop and execute again. I uh, should be able to get only five records because it wipes everything and then it loads again. So this is one way to avoid duplicates. Okay. So thank you very much for watching this video. Today I'll show you guys how to um, delete the information, existing information from the data warehouse before loading uh, new information. Okay. Thank you very much. You have a nice day.